Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm about to give you some information about one of the most neglected maintenance systems on the Volvo 5-cylinder and some of the other cars, and that is the PCV uh, system, which is part of the emissions, and it's a breather system built in these Volvo cars. Now, my recommendation is, if you don't have written proof that the system has been serviced, go ahead and get it serviced because the cost of not getting it serviced is much higher than the cost of getting it serviced and making sure it's in good shape. The Volvo 850s, S70s, V70s, and many of the other five and some of the six cylinder Volvo engines have a unique emission system called a PCV system which has a breather box. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick test you can run to try to determine if your system is clogged or serviceable or in need of service. Okay, on the Volvo 850, if you come down past the intake manifold and look on the side, you can see a vacuum hose there. It's real common for that vacuum elbow to be torn or broken or have some kind of damage to it because it's kind of out of sight, out of mind thing. And that's where it's located. If you look down under the intake manifold, which you can't really see on this video, but it is right there past those cables. It's what they call a breather box. That's kind of the heart of this PCV system. Now, if any of your vacuum lines uh, break, any of the elbows tear, uh, any of the uh, ports in it get blocked, it may throw an engine coat, make the car run lean or rich. And uh, the big deal about this system is if it gets blocked up, it causes pressure to build in the motor. Now, if this system gets blocked up and it allows pressure to build in the motor, uh, it's going to try to blow that pressure off somewhere. Now, what it typically does, it'll blow your rear cam seals behind your distributor cap over there where your uh, cam sensor is. It can blow your front cam seals, which are located inside your timing belt cover and cause oil leaks there. It can also blow the dreaded rear main seal which is the crank seal between your transmission and your motor if that seal gets pushed out and starts leaking either your transmission has to come down or your motor has to come out to replace that seal so that's the eleven hundred dollar repair for a twenty one dollar seal so you don't want that to happen Another thing it could do is push out the front crank seal, which it almost never does. So, you want to make sure this system is serviceable, and you want to get it serviced if you have no written proof that it's been serviced. Again, this system goes from this side of the intake, under the intake manifold, has vacuum lines and tubes that runs around this part of the motor, and if your car is turbo, it'll actually have lines that run down to the back of where the turbo uh, intake goes. And you see a couple lines there. So if it's turbo, it'll have more hardware and lines than if it's non-turbo. The turbo cars has what's called a PTC valve back there at the base of the intake right before it goes into the turbo and the non-turbo cars has what's called a flame trap which is normally right here at your intake for your throttle body so you got one or the other when you're dealing with this PCV system now the most common ways 
that people check this system to see if it's clogged or need services, they'll start the car up, allow the car to be warm by either driving it around or whatever, and while the car is running, they take the oil dipstick and they pull the oil dipstick out about three or four inches. If the car is running and the system is plugged up, or primarily if that line going to that intake manifold over there uh, is plugged up or broken, it will allow smoke to come out of this dipstick tube while the car is running at idle. I have seen so much pressure build up in some of these cars that you'll open the hood, the dipstick will be pushed out a little bit, and there'll be oil on the top of the uh, on the inside of the hood where the dipstick was pushed out and it actually was blowing oil out of that dipstick. So when the car is running, you can pull that dipstick, see if it's smoking. That could be an indicator that this system is plugged and needs service. Another test that is commonly done that may be more accurate is people actually take the oil uh, cap off of the motor, they put a rubber glove over the oil filter, the oil filler neck, while the vehicle's running, they put a rubber band on it to keep it in place, and if the glove blows up, then the system is clogged and causing pressure to build in that uh, motor. If the system is in good condition and it's not plugged up, Sometimes it'll suck the glove down a little bit, or at least not inflate the glove. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car and do these two tests. Okay, test number one. The car is running. The car is warm. I'm going to pull the dipstick out, see if I see smoke. Okay, I do not see smoke. Smoke would indicate that the system needs service. So I'm good there. Now, when I bought this vehicle... The system was plugged up so much that it wasn't smoking, which it was beyond the smoking point. So that wasn't a good test for me. That's about an 80% effective test. Now the second test is to remove the oil filler cap, put a rubber glove over that hole, and see if it blows up the glove. So let me pause the video and put the glove over there. And it'd be good if I had a rubber band to hold the glove on. Okay, as you can see, I have the rubber glove over the hole and it is actually trying to suck the glove in. If it was bad, it would be trying to blow the glove up. So I'm gonna rev the car up to about 1500 RPM and see if that glove changes. I cranked the engine up to about 2,000 RPM. It actually sucked the glove in more. So that's telling me that my PVC system is creating a vacuum and not building pressure in my motor. If you got any questions, go ahead and post them. That's how you can test to see if your PVC system is good. I've even seen people uh, put a little glove finger or something like that over the oil dipstick with the dipstick totally pulled out so you can pull the dipstick all the way out and put a glove or a finger over top of that dipstick and see if it tries to blow the glove up that way so anyway i don't have a rubber band to try that method but it doesn't seem to be trying to push my glove up there it's trying to suck it down there as well so i think my system is good hope you check yours out if you feel that this information was beneficial please like it and share it with your social media friends you can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that i post visit my channel i have all types of do-it-yourself videos there you can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.